Hey guys, how's it going? So I got asked today in the comments how do you install uh, Made Exploitable 2 and um, get that running on the Mac. So I'm just going to quickly show you how I got it running. As you can see here, it's running in this virtual machine, no problem. Okay, so some of the prerequisites, you have to uh, install uh, this QEMU, QEMU, I don't know how to say it. Um, and then you, once you download the Made Exploitable 2, you just convert the image, right? Okay, and then I'm just gonna create another machine here. Actually, let me, um, let me just shut this one down. So I'm just gonna show you how I did it. So you have UTM, so I'm just gonna create a virtual machine and I'm gonna say emulate because this, this machine doesn't run on the ARM architecture, right? So I'm just gonna say other. Where it says uh, boot ISO image, I'm gonna say skip, okay? And then I'm just gonna bring the memory down to 1024, hit next. When that's for the drive, I'm just gonna hit next because I'm gonna remove that drive anyway, and then hit next. And I'm just gonna hit save, okay? So then you go in the settings, <clears throat> excuse me. This drive here, you just, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. This drive here, you delete this drive um, in the system part, uh, portion. Uh, where is it? You remove this uh, UEFI boot, okay? And then we're gonna add the drive and say uh, import. And then we're gonna select this um, drive that we converted with this command here, okay? I'm gonna hit open. And it's going to import that drive into our VM. All right. And update the uh, boot configuration there. So I'm just going to hit save. Okay. And then power it on. And you can see that it's going to, you can see it's got the BIOS there, the C BIOS. And you can see it's starting up and it's going through the boot process. Okay. So this is all you need right here to do made exploitable 2 on the uh, Mac with the ARM processor. Okay, you can see I have a Mac mini, right? You can see it just go through the boot, the boot process, no problem. And from there, you could just, uh, you know, get the IP address and, um, you know, on your Kali uh, VM here, and then you can go ahead and uh, you can hack this machine as intended in your course or whatever all right so that's it that's all it takes you can see it just goes through the whole boot process here it's saying you know starting the mysql database etc etc all right and um you can see here it's using the uh x86 uh chipset just a standard pc all right and there we go okay made exploitable too all right Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Ciao.